I'm Hank Stoltz and we're speaking with Congressman Jim McGovern who has for many years risen on the floor of Congress and talked about Stop Hunger Now. Very pleased to talk to him about world hunger, how to stop world hunger in this very important issue. This is an issue that you have been working on for, for many years. Tell me a little bit about the problem of world hunger and hunger here in the United States and how you're working to stop it. Well, as, as you mentioned, there's close to um, you know a billion people uh, in this country, in, in, you know, in the world that are uh, that are hungry. Uh, we have 49 million here in the United States, uh, and what is maddening to me is that uh, it doesn't have to be. Uh, we have the food, we have the infrastructure, we have the know-how. Uh, we know what it takes to make sure people have enough to eat. What we don't have is the political will. We say we want everybody to work who's on public assistance, uh, and yet the majority of able-bodied people who are on food stamps, the majority who can work, work. You know, you don't hear that a lot when uh, people bash the program, but uh, you know, the, the, the big number of people on, on, on food stamps are senior citizens, disabled, and children. We're not going to repeal the child labor laws, or we're not going to send grandma back to a factory. Um, but the point of the matter is, of those who are able-bodied, who can work, the majority work. But they earn so little that they're still on uh, public assistance. Tell me a little bit about how you came to have this be such a, a central issue, something that you care about so much, and some of the things that I know that you do each year, uh, including trying to, to, to buy meals and, and live on, uh, some, uh, on the poverty level each year. I mean, I became interested in this issue when I interned for George McGovern uh, back in the late 1970s uh, when I was in college. I mean, this is one of his you know, signature issues. And uh, George McGovern and Bob Dole, in a bipartisan way, championed a lot of the anti-hunger programs. And in the 1970s, we almost eliminated hunger in this country. Uh, and then we kind of basically punched a whole bunch of holes uh, into the safety net um, and uh, actually went backwards to the point where now it, we, we have 49 million Americans uh, who are hungry. What, what was it that worked in the 70s that we aren't doing today? I, I think there was a more aggressive uh, attempt to make sure that people in need uh, get the food that, uh, that was required. Um, and I think we, we, we were still at a time where people were thinking big. I mean, right now in Washington, we think in very, very small terms. Everybody's focused on the deficit and the debt. Those are important things to do. And we were told you can't do anything because all we have to do is cut. And so we've been cutting. Um, you know, the Farm Bill cut $8.6 billion out of food stamps. You know, last November, there was an $11 billion cut in food stamps. So, um, you know, close to $20 billion have been cut. Everybody who's on food stamps in the United States today received a cut. Now, food prices have go down, uh, but their benefit went down. And even before the benefit went down, people were relying on food banks and churches and, you know, for uh, and charity groups to help kind of get through the, get through the month. But I, I lived on a food I lived on a food stamp diet a couple of times for a week because I don't think I didn't think my colleagues in Congress had any clue what it was like to be on food stamps. And where do you think we are right now in this battle to actually end hunger? Yeah, we're, we're not we're not where I want us to be right now. Uh, we all have a role in this, and we all could do a little bit more. I'm Hank Stoltz, Congressman Jim McGovern. Thank you so much for joining us today Happy. and talking about this issue. Happy to be with you.